Hello and thank you for watching this video tutorial on OS Forensics by Passmark Software. OS Forensics is a feature-rich, versatile, and robust computer forensic solution used by a wide variety of professionals and organizations worldwide. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate a new feature that was implemented in version 4 of OS Forensics, which is the ability to create what's called a customized logical image. Uh, several other forensics tools on the market allow a user to create a logical image of a drive or partition or directory, but not many allow for custom content acquisitions from multiple sources like you can now do with OSF. Something else we've done differently than a lot of our competition is that we allow these custom content acquisitions or logical image files to be created in a non-proprietary type of format. OSF creates these logical images now in the virtual hard disk format so they will have a VHD extension uh, and so that you are not forced to only use our software tool to conduct an analysis on the image file. So let's take a look at the feature. So once you've launched OS Forensics you can access this new feature by either clicking on Forensic Copy Module which is located in the lower portion of the workflow as well as by clicking on the forensic copy icon located right here in the start menu. From here you can choose directories and folders from various devices that you have added into the case. Or you can even also go outside of the case if need be by clicking on this blue hyperlink here that states other devices available. Once you find a data set or directory that you wish to uh, add to your custom content image, simply highlight it and click OK and that will add it into the queue to be added to that custom content image. Another great feature that you may not find in other logical image creation tools is that we've also added the ability to add individual files to the logical image as well. This feature is available via right-click options within OS Forensics. For instance, while viewing devices in the file system browser view, once you find a particular file that you may want to add to that uh, logical image, simply right click on a file and you will see that you have the add to logical image uh, option available to you. Simply click on that and then that file will be added to your logical image um, to be created. This is a very nice feature that allows you to grab any individual file from something like a page file.sys or the hybra file. Uh, to maybe a registry hive or just a simple JPEG as I've done here in the example. Once you have the files that you want uh, added or want, that you want to be included in your logical image ready, make sure that you select the create logical image and, and check mark that radio button there. By default it's going to have the just the copy to folder option check marked which is not going to give you that uh, beneficial protection of a container uh, like the logical image file will. So ch make sure you check mark that and then you're going to give it a, uh, a place to save and then once you would give it a name, um, and, you know, a particular name that you like, you will see here that it's going to save it as that virtual disk image or VHD file extension. So let's go ahead and we'll name this test. And now we can see where we're saving it in the uh, L drive collector 2 directory. And then here's my file, which is going to be my logical image, test.vhd. Now if I'd like a log file that uh, just kind of can accompany that similar to our physical image um, 
that you can go ahead and check mark this box here as well. So once you have everything the way you want it set, again, you can add more files to it, to the queue right here if you'd like. Uh, but once you've got everything in place, you have a destination target, the name for your logical image file. You've got the create logical image check marked here. And then all you've got to do is go ahead and hit the start button down here. And OS Forensics, as you see, is busy creating that logical image file. And you see the all the different logs and uh, going by in real time. We also provide you with uh, some information concerning that log, the time remaining, the speed, and the file number of files to be copied uh, is displayed here for you as well. Uh, so you can see it's still a pretty decent speed we've we've chosen an entire windows user directory um, in addition to the you know the one jpeg here but overall not a bad speed and there you have it it's uh completed in literally just uh you know one minute and eight seconds time period and once it's done, you're going to be giving uh, this ability here to give it an export title name. You can an uh, annotate some notes here in it as well, uh, if you'd like as well. So anyways, uh, that's about it. And I hope you enjoyed this new feature, uh, Custom Content Logical Images OS Forensics Version 4. For more information on this new feature, please review the section on uh, forensic copy in the OSF help file that's available on our website uh, by just clicking on the support tab here and then you will find the help file that's a, a PDF version that's available for download 100% free of charge right here. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on OS Forensics by Passmark Software. For more information on OS Forensics or any of our many products, feel free to reach us by email at info at passmark.com or visit us on the web anytime at www.osforensics.com.